All right, we have the opportunity now to get to speak with the Friends football head coach Dion Manili here at the KCAC Football Media Day, and the uh, crowd starting to disperse a little bit, so you're going to hear a little bit of that in the background right now. Coach, thank you very much for being with us here on KansasSports.net and MidwestSports.net. Uh, we talk about the season coming in, and, and for you, I mean, it's your second season as a head coach, but first really full season having the opportunity, the same opportunity to recruit for a full year. What does that mean to you and what's different about this season? Well, this this time last year, my head was still spinning. Uh, I'm sure in any pictures or video that was taken, I had big bags under my eyes. Uh, you know, I really didn't know what I was getting into, even though I'd been around. Uh, so a full year of recruiting, you know, we, we had to sign a lot of kids. And, and so that's obviously a good thing and a bad thing. You know, the bad thing is we don't know exactly what they're going to do on the field. We've seen their video. We've evaluated them. We like them. Um, but they've got to do that. They've got to show us. The other side of that with the number of returners, yes, we have a guy at virtually each position. Uh, but behind that, you know, we, didn't, we don't have enough guys or didn't have enough guys to really push for playing time. Uh, at this point, I think we have the, the talent. And, and the, the number of guys that can play to a point where there's going to be that competition. If, if a guy isn't doing his job or, or just isn't doing things the way we like, there's somebody behind him nipping at his heels. So that to me is the biggest difference of having a year under your belt is we've got the team set up from a depth perspective uh, closer to what we like. Depth is a key, it's, and it was mentioned more than once here at the media day today and beyond just the, that first 11, that first 22, really talking about that with Coach Dion Manili here from Friends. Coach, you have Whitaker coming back at quarterback, and I just address the offense then as a whole. I'm sure it does revolve around that position. You know, Brennan is, is such a great leader for us. Um, you know, last year we had uh, two freshmen that hopped in after he got hurt, and I thought did a good job. Uh, the difference was the comfort level of an upperclassman. Uh, Brennan, you know, grasped our offense quicker than, than anybody that Coach Kyle has had. And so that says something about a guy that can get everybody lined up, can get the checks. And, and the young guys, you know, let's be real, they were thrown into the fire and did a, did a heck of a job. But uh, as far as that comfort level to really jump in and lead, that's hard. And so although there's going to be competition at that position, we do expect Brennan to, to take the lead in his graduate year. And uh, just like any other position, he's going to have to perform right. or those other guys are going to be ready to, to step in and do what they, they need to do. But I have all the faith in the world in Brennan. But even that position, you know, you, you talk about having depth there. That, that's key again. Seems to be, a th again, a, a theme today. No question. All of us have good players. The difference is, um, first off, can you stay healthy? Okay, probably not. You know, so when a guy goes down for a game, two games, whatever it may be, a half, do you have somebody that can jump in there and, and you don't fall off? Um, that's the tough part. You know, we can we can all recruit our tails off and get good football players, but boy, having enough to where you know somebody goes down, somebody jumps in, and it's not just a drastic. Hey, guess where we're going? Right. Depth is a huge deal. No matter where you're at, if you want to win any kind of championship, from a conference championship to anything bigger than that, boy, you've either got to stay perfectly healthy, or you got to have guys that can step in and, and make up the make up the difference when when someone goes down. I know in, in football and over the years, I'm sure in, in stops along the way, coaches get to coach both sides of the ball. But you're a defensive coach. Talk about uh, how your defense looks coming into this season. Boy, uh, you know, I'm not sure. I know we have good players. There's no question about that. But you look back, number of guys that, that started for us is, is small. You know, we have two to four, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I have a lot of guys that play this year. So between the ones that we, you know, that came in a semester, some of the guys that maybe didn't play as much last year, combined with the guys that, that we counted on last year, I know this: we're going to be sound at what we do. We're going to cover all the gaps. We're going to run really hard to the ball. We're going to fight our tails off to make a lot of big plays on our end and, and eliminate big plays on the other side. So from a defensive standpoint, if they'll play their tails off, get lined up properly, we're going to be okay. You, uh, they just released the polls here at the KCAC Media Day, the media poll and the coaches poll. Friends coming in, seventh in one poll, six in another. Your thoughts about that and, and then your assessment of the season. Is that a, a fair assessment, you think? I'm happy to not be picked last. Um, <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a tough feeling. I, I, know, I know what that feels like. Uh, 
Um, I also know that we are not uh, proven enough to be picked towards the top. You know, when you're talking about, you know, Tabor, Sterling, Kansas, Wesley, and Ottawa, I mean, you start kind of going down the, the line. Those guys have earned to be in that top four or five. Uh, and you start hitting, you know, number five and down, and you see a little bit of mixture on, on those sheets, I'm guessing. I think it's fair. We, we need to show that we can win consistently. Once we do, hey, then they start picking you higher, and then, then people say, hey, look, they were picked higher than us, and they shouldn't be. So um, I think it's nice. Like I said, I'm, I'm happy we're not picked last. Coaches always talk about the process, and uh, is, is there that process? I think the, I think the other key word that came across to me today was culture. That that was a, a big thing from the coaches. Just can you sum that up then, in the process then, and how does the culture factor in? It's huge. Um, I think that I think that guys on a team of any of any sort, guys or girls, doesn't really matter. They've got to want to be around each other. They've got to like to be around each other. They they have to be able to look at that person next to them and say, you know what, you're not carrying your weight. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. And if there isn't a relationship there, well, that becomes pretty pretty you know attack oriented. And this person doesn't want to hear it, but when you're close, you can say, you know, you're garbage right now. And they're going to look up at you and say, wow, if he's telling me I am, I must not be playing yeah. very well. That's to me what culture is. Everybody likes to talk about the family. They like to talk about, you know, different words, but we're all looking for the same thing. We're looking for a whole bunch of people working towards one goal and having a lot of fun doing it. But in order to do that, yeah, we have to get to know each other. Do they know each other? They're getting, They're, getting They're getting better. They're getting better. We only have we only have 40 of them coming back, and so those 40 know each other better than they did uh, after the spring. You know, after we started the spring semester and started working through that, they know each other better than they did. And I, I like what I've seen this summer, but no, they do not know each other uh, on the whole because 55, 58, 60 new <laughs> combined with 40 returners, we're going to have to learn learn how to interact very quickly. All right, Coach Dion Manili, friends, the Falcons again picked middle of the pack, which uh, is a fair assessment right now. They're going to know more about you, though, in a few weeks. That's exactly right. All right. Thanks for watching us on KansasSports.net, and uh, we'll have this on YouTube as well. Please be sure and subscribe to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. God bless you all. Thanks, Joe.